And here we are heading into the weekend and off in the weekend, there, there are events to go to, there are birthdays, there are anniversaries, which we're going to. We're going to, to a 60th wedding anniversary. Yeah, they're very 60 old. 60 years married. Very old people, very sprightly. <laughs> Yeah. Morning, Rosa and Arthur. Because <laughs> <laughs> Rosa watches. Uh, Rosa but also, watches. you might be going to a wedding. Might be going yeah. to a wedding um, as well. And think of, you know, if you had your wedding planned and then the airline you booked on collapsed. Um, and then... Disaster. That was that disaster. Was disaster. That was disaster. That but was then the good news is, we're going to talk, tell you a story news. now about Sharon Cook and Andrew Atchison. Uh, they're from Liverpool and their wedding plans were, well, pretty well in ruins uh, this week when their flights to Las Vegas were cancelled. So the Thomas Cook business uh, got in the way of that. But, but, but Caesar's Palace. No, it wasn't. It was what? Rod Stewart. No, because Rod Stewart... Oh, do not miss that. But ahead of all of that, uh, yesterday at the Scottish Parliament, landmark legislation, because Scotland became the first country in the UK to introduce a ban on smacking children. But this does not happen in Northern Ireland, does not happen in England, no. this does not happen in Wales, and this new law will come into practice in a year's time. What does it mean? Well, it, it does mean that parents could face prosecution if they use, you know, yeah. physical yeah. punishment against their children and somebody mm -hmm. reports them for that. Uh, but did Scottish MPs make the right choice? Joining us to discuss this, two women... Rebecca's Every... got two children, seven yeah. and four. Have you ever smacked them? Oh, uh, so this is... a woman in public you would report that it wasn't so long ago that husbands were hitting wives to keep them in line this is an evolution mm. we should give children the same protection we give adults why do we call it just we do give them the not same protection. so your worry your worry is that this would still happen behind closed doors, and not also, in there. To... If it's happening in public, it's happening at home, and it's happening. Do you think people feel so strongly about this when we throw this out? Because I'm, I'm just good work. Yes. Um, out of children, yeah. I mean, all older now, uh, teenagers yeah. and above. Um, did you smack them? And how was your relationship? Did they ever talk about it? Because I got smacked. Yeah. And when I was older, and I used you, to say you to my I had, a very... you've got smacked. No... <laughs> I had a very close relationship with my parents, <laughs> and I used to say to my dad, "Do you know what?" You didn't really smack me that hard. Yeah. You know, it wasn't beat. There's a difference, yeah. isn't there, when you say a smack or beating your child. Mm. He didn't beat me. And also, I said to him, it didn't work, because I was still naughty. Ian says, we used to get the cane from our headmaster if we misbehaved at school. It's no wonder children are so badly behaved. The lack of discipline is a poor... We're past 11, and if you're over 18, uh, we'll hope to have you on, OK? Now, don't go anywhere. Still to come, it's no laughing matter. The Speakmans are helping a woman tackle her 10-year-long fear of clowns. A lot of people have this, don't they? A fear of clowns from, from being a child and going to something. What were you looking at that for? Have you got that? Why do circuses deem this as a form of funniness? Well, no, but I'm saying quite a lot of Creepy. kids Creepy. didn't. We were, I was talking to girls. So in the if you came home today. tonight and I dressed up as a clown. <laughs> Uh, we always back. like to reflect what's going viral and uh, what's out there, what you're looking at. Um, here is a... a well, right. She smiled when we gave her a birthday present. Yeah, week, didn't she? she smiles every time I come home. 
She does. Yeah. She Why can't you do that? With her legs in the air. Yes. <laughs> Not for that. Uh, still to Not come. Not my back. But we were talking about the dog. Uh, still to come, it's considered a healthier alternative to smoking. Oh, yeah, but is it? Vaping. Vaping. We're going to be talking about vaping very shortly. E-cigarettes come under criticism, and we've got a widow telling us why she believes her husband's death was caused by his vaping habit. Think about that. Now, before that, millions of us are expected to head to cinemas this weekend for the release of the new Batman spin-off, Joker. But there's one lady who definitely won't be rushing to buy a ticket. That's 22-year-old Elizabeth Mogg. She suffers with a crippling...